It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an Illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the Arch Illager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. But maybe you. Hey everyone, and welcome to Minecraft Dungeons! So, that was quite the interest to be honest, it was really cool, and now it seems that we have to choose our character, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's choose one. So we have here quite a lot to choose from, we have DLC characters as well, alright, and we have Steve and Alex, oh, we have to go with Steve, of course, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this character. Let's click done and there it is. So this game came out just today, the day I'm recording, the 26th of May of 2020. I bought it and um, I'm very excited to make a let's play of this game. I've been waiting for it to come out for a long time and it's finally here. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. So let's see, what is this? We are here on a camp. We have our bonfire, a tent, level 1, alright, I don't know what this is, these are emeralds, we have 0 emeralds, alright, we can switch hero, but I don't want to do that, and yes, yeah, so, uh, do we click over here, online game, I think so, alright, so start online game, let's go. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. Alright, here we go, go to the village. So from that little cutscene, it seems like we have to save them. So move around, try to move around a bit to stretch your legs. Alright, so we do that by using the left click on our mouse. That is simple. Find the objective, follow the navigation marker to reach your current objective. Alright, I get it. So let's see what we have here. A house, can we go inside? No, but we can do a, a roll using space. Alright, I see. So defeat the zombie. Oh, let's see. Alright, so it is left click. To use the sword. Kill the zombie. Your sword is effective in close combat. Use it to defeat the zombie. Alright, we did it. That was nice. We have here some arrows. But I don't think we can pick them up. That's unfortunate. 
All right, let's keep on moving. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, I see another zombie. Hello, and goodbye. All right, we got an emerald. All right, sorry about that little cut. I just lost some health. But anyways, uh, let's see. I was checking out my inventory. Yes, so here it is. We have here a sword. All right, 10, 16 melee damage. Our bow. I see, what is this? Accelerate and multi shot. Oh, so these are the enchantments. All right, so we have here quite a lot of stuff. Empty slot, select which enchantment to equip. All right, there is so much stuff for us to do over here. All right, so let's see, what is this? Squid Ghost, so this is the map, I'm pretty sure. Secrets found, zero out of two, and chests open, zero out of two. All right, so we have to find secrets. All right, that sounds fun. And some chests, probably they have some loot inside. And uh, if we drink this, our uh, health regenerates. All right, that is awesome. So, oh, and I don't have any arrows, I see. So let's continue on. Let's see what we have over here. So these houses are all burning. That is so sad to see. Is there like any secrets that you can find? I don't even know what the secrets are. But anyways, so what is this? Uh, arrow bundle. Alright, so ranged attacks. Oh my god, that skeleton is already shooting at me. Uh, use your bow, shoot the skeleton. Arrows are limited, so spend them wisely. Alright, so it is right click. So let's use it on that skeleton over there. Nice, and it gave us an emerald. Awesome. So let's see, we have to go up there because of that little marker. But before we go there, let's check down here to see if there is anything that we can pick up, like some loot or secrets. Alright, so I don't think we can go inside of this uh, building over here. Alright. Oh, wait. Where am I? Oh my god, I think I died and I have a totem of undying. I'll have to be careful next time. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Let's see what we have here. Another house. Can we go over here? No, we cannot. Alright, I see a zombie. Another one over there. Alright, take that. Some more emeralds. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Let's go over here and let's shoot a skeleton. Nice. Alright, these are berry bushes, if I'm not mistaken. I wish we could eat some berries. It sounds delicious. Alright, so what do we have here? More villager houses, I'm pretty sure. Look at this waterfall. Well, there is two waterfalls. They are amazing. And what do you want, zombie? Don't you see I'm enjoying the view over here? This is amazing. Alright, well, here we have another zombie. Take that. So it seems like we are doing 10 damage to them. And uh, a windmill. Oh. Alright, oh my god, it shot me. Alright, anyways, there it is. We have some more emeralds. Oh my god, what is that? Illagers? Secure the inner gate. Oh, where is the inner gate? Is it over here? Oh, we found the chest. Supplies. Whoa, alright, so we have here a small bundle of arrows and bread. Alright, so it gives us some health. We are regenerating. Alright, so are we going to 100? Yes, we are at 100. That is amazing. So, what else do we have over here? More burning buildings. There is a statue of an illager or a villager over there. Alright, that is cool. Let's see. Let's try not to fall this time. <laughs> uh, so, nothing over there. Alright, this is awesome. Really enjoying the game so far. So this is the statue that we saw just a few seconds ago. That's awesome. Can we collect some stuff over here? Doesn't seem like it, alright. So this is the gate, alright, so it closed. Oh, and there is the evil illager. Survive the ambush. Oh my god, it was an ambush. Alright, let's run. Come on, take that. And you. Oh my god. There it is, we got them. Oh my god, so that was an ambush. Oh, and there's still more over here. Alright, we got them everybody. Oh, and we just leveled up. Enchantment point earned. 
Enchanting. Every level up gives you an enchantment point, which are used to upgrade items. Open the inventory to try it out. Oh, alright, so... Yes, this is our inventory. Enchant gear. Select an item of your gear that you want to enchant. Oh, let's choose our sword. Select enchantment. You can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. Oh, alright, so let's choose... Um, I really don't know what, which one of these are the best ones. Let's use Thundering. So, has a 30% chance to summon a lightning strike that damages nearby enemies. Alright, this sounds useful. So, upgrade tires. So, there is three tires that we can upgrade our weapons to. Deals two damage and it goes up to four and six. Alright, let's use this one over here. So our sword has been enchanted, that tire 1. Alright, that is great. But I still don't know uh, what we use the emerald for. We have a lot of arrows. The map, alright, so let's keep on moving. We're still at the beginning of the game, so there is a lot more to, to explore and find. Anything over here? No, just a little balcony that we can chill. That is nice. Oh, another villager. Oh my god, our uh, bow is so strong. What is that? Fireworks arrow. Puts a firework arrow into your quiver. The arrow explodes on hit. Alright, so this sounds very useful. You just picked up an artifact. Open the inventory to equip it. Alright, so here it is. Uh, right click the firework arrow in the artifact category to equip them. Oh, there it is. Alright, that is very cool. So, use the artifact. Now that the artifact is equipped, you can use it whenever you want. Also, you have to click 1, 2 or 3 to use the artifact. I see, that sounds easy. So, there it is, we have it. Shoot the enemy. You can blast multiple enemies with a single arrow when using this powerful artifact. Alright, that is awesome. We have to try it out. So let's go over here and let's see if we can find some mobs. Alright, there is a lever. There it is. Any mobs over here that wants to be shot by my firework arrow? You? Alright, take that. Well, that was awesome. Set up camp uh, outside the town. Alright. So, let's see. Oh, and we just used the thundering enchantment. Alright, pretty cool. Oh, another skeleton. And our uh, special firework arrow is recharging. Alright, so it takes a while for us to use it again. And uh, there is a chest over there. How do we get here? Alright, maybe... Alright, so we have to do a roll. And we can get to this chest. And we got here some... Oh my god, a lot of emeralds. Some TNT that for some reason we are wearing it in our heads. And uh, a potion. Alright, so shadow form. Whoa, this looks awesome. So, yeah, I guess we have turned it to a shadow or something. Whoa, what the hell? We did 80 damage to that illager? I think that was because of the potion, probably. Alright, so we have to set up camp outside the town. But uh, we still haven't reached our little location. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh, we can even go on water. Alright, maybe we can find a secret over here? No, but there is like a path that we can go, probably. I don't know. Alright, so... Yeah, we are exploring this with a TNT in our head. Isn't this a bit dangerous? What if they shoot the TNT and it explodes right on top of us? That sounds awful. Alright, so let's try not to fall this time. Let's go let's see there's a waterfall over here bonfire oh and i believe we have to go over there so let's see before we go there let's check this out is there anything that you can gather over here and how do i get rid of this tnt in my head that is so weird all right anyways so nothing over here it seems like this is a farm maybe it's not i don't know it's just a house and uh, we cannot go any further than this. Alright, so 
Yeah, let's go over there and see if we can set up camp outside this town. Alright, here we are. And victory! But don't fret, they're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Alright, so we just finished our first mission, everybody. That was pretty fun. Alright, so level complete, Squid Coast. We got to level 2. Uh, 488 damage done. Uh, is that a lot? I don't even know. Uh, mission summary. So, project tiles hit 80%, damage dealt 488, healing done 9, and damage taken 46. Alright. And what is this thing over here? Is this like a loot crate? Can we open it? Yes, we can. Alright, so what do we, do we get? A fishing rod. Alright, and it's common. The trusted companion of any true adventurer. The fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. Alright. So there it is. Can we equip it? Yes. Alright. So now we have fireworks and the fishing rod. That is amazing. So yes. Now we can select other missions. Let's see. Oh alright. So this is the map of the game. I'm pretty sure. Alright. So... This over here is the Creeper Woods. Uh, I believe this is the location we are right now, currently. With the burning houses. Yeah, this is where we are. Then, I don't know, where is this thing over here? Locked. Alright, so we cannot go over there. We have here some sort of a mesa with a mineshack. I see a minecart over there. That is pretty funny. Alright, then there is this place over here. With a boat. Alright. We have a desert with a desert temple and bones. Uh, a snow biome. And it seems like it has some volcanoes. Seems very dangerous. And uh, on the very far right we have a castle. That seems to be where the evil illager resides. Because, well, there is a quite a big statue of it right on top of this castle. Alright, and coming soon, Island Realms. Whoa, this is awesome. So yeah, I guess we are going to end off this first episode right here. Like, we just learned how to use the mechanics of the game. And uh, this was a little introduction, so yeah, it was really fun. And uh, I'm super excited to continue exploring the story of this game and... Uh, gather some new materials like I don't even have any any armor or anything but yeah we are going to get some pretty good stuff I'm pretty sure and uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more in the near future then make sure to hit that like button it is very much appreciated and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future uploads with that being said I will see you all in the next one bye